I'm Spandan Madan. I'm a PhD student in computer science at Harvard University, working with Professor Hans Peter Feister and Gabriel Kreeman, and I'm also a research affiliate at the Boston Children's Hospital. So my research focuses on machine learning and artificial intelligence. Uh, specifically, I look into why machines can't generalize out of the training data distribution. What that means is that humans very easily, effortlessly adapt to situations, nuance in situations they haven't seen before, but machines often struggle to, and that's what I look into. So one of the great things about Harvard and Boston Children's Hospital is that they foster a lot of interdisciplinary research. And my co-author, Will Shao, is someone who's worked a lot with brains. I have worked a lot with artificial intelligence, and we've sort of started talking about how the behavior of these models and how the behavior of brains might be similar or dissimilar. And that's how we started working on this project. So one of the big challenges in neuroscience is just collecting a large-scale data set. In AI, it's easy. You just go to the internet, you download a data set, and you're good to go. But in neuroscience, you have to collect data from brains, which can be pretty challenging. And that's where my co-authors came in. So my co-author, Will Shao, and Professor Marsh Livingstone collected this really large-scale, amazing data set, which allowed us to do all the analysis that we did. So most modern models of the brain rely on deep neural networks. However, from AI research, we know that these models don't really work very well with respect to auto-distribution data. That is to say, they work very well on the data they've been trained with, but they don't generalize the data that's very different from it. So what we did is we took a bunch of brain data and we split it in different chunks. So for the first set, what we did is we took low contrast images as the training set and the high contrast images as the test set. We trained on the low contrast images and then we tested on the outer distribution high contrast images. And what we found is that these models of the brain do not generalize. The same was true for high hue, contrast, temperature, intensity, and a bunch of different image computable metrics that we found. Well, one of the big challenges in neuroscience is to understand how the brain processes images and how it makes sense of the world that we see. So think about it like this. If we have a model of the brain, it should work no matter what image you test it on. The same as saying, if, if you had Newton's laws, it should work on every single object from an apple to the planets. And it would not be very satisfying if Newton's laws worked only for planets, but not for the apple that fell on Newton's head. Very similarly, a model of the brain is not a satisfying model of the brain if it only works on the training data and not on the testing data. So the large scale data set I just talked about, which is Magac IT Bench, it's one of the largest data sets of neuronal recordings of the IT cortex. This data set is uh, free available to download. You can find more in the paper. And we've already made it available for AI researchers to easily download it and use it by splitting the data into in-distribution and out-of-distribution data sets, which people can use to study generalization. The problem of generalization has been well known in AI for a very long while, and a lot of people, including me, have been working on it. Going forward, as AI and neuroscience become increasingly intertwined, we hope that this problem also becomes of importance to neuroscience researchers. And with the, the, the data sets and the tools that we provide in this paper, we hope that we can bring the two fields together and work on this problem together.